The World Championship is coming up. So we have Jan Napomniachi's five most brilliant moves. We had to bring them to you. Here it is. This one is Jan Napomniachi versus Rolf Memedov. Okay, last thing that happened was Knight to D1 defending the B2 pawn. Rolf says, or Memedov says C5. Okay, we're gonna play C5 here. Try to play C4, maybe get some C3 in. Just be very, very aggressive. Okay, cool. Now this isn't the brilliant one. I was very close, in fact, but this is why to move right now. Where do you go right now? Here's the move. Yana Pamniachi actually first starts with this one right here. Bishop G6. Oh my goodness. Boy, what is going on? Wait a second. He can just take those. That is very, very scary, right? If a knight G6, and obviously you can do queen G6. Wow, and then there's a mate on H8 back there, right? So he sees this, Mamadov's like, whoa, chill, my guy. After bishop G6, he goes rook G7, defend everything. Now, this is the move that is brilliant, right? Okay, it's right to move, pause the video if you need to. What did Jan Napomni actually do in this position? The brilliant move is, bishop takes H7, oh my goodness. Get him off the board. This bishop is like untouchable, right? Oh my goodness. He took on g6. He took on h7. What is going on, bro? Right, if knight takes h7, which was in the game, obviously if rook takes h7, of course, you're just done for with queen g5, right? The rooks are here as well on uh, on the h file. You also have queen d8 to follow. So the move in the game was knight takes h7. After knight takes h7, you have to see this move to be able to play bishop h7. What is that move, white right, to move? Yana Pamniachi follows up with Queen H7, you got it wrong. That is not the move. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? This is a family channel after Rook takes H7, Queen takes F4, and you can resign. Oh my goodness, this is just over. Rook takes and Queen takes F4, you looking crazy here. Wow, gotcha. <laughs> we gotcha. Oh my goodness, that hurts, right? The move here is actually Rook to G3. Another brilliant move. Who we in the same game? That's sick here. Of course, threatening mate and a queen h7 because the rook is pinned. What if he takes it? Which is what happens in the game. Rook takes g3. He's going to show you what happens if you take it. Queen takes h7 check, king to f8 stepping out of the way. And now this move here is kind of difficult to find. It's right to move. You can find it. I'm sure you can. Pause the video. What do you do? The move here is following up with, you have two options, queen h6 checks, if you said queen h6, very good, but also this is the option and it was chosen the game was queen h4. It's actually a very strange fork of the rooks, like you never see this kind of a fork. Very strange, just you're gonna win back with the rooks. But queen h4, rook takes g2 happens and then queen takes d8 and the game is basically over here. Resignation was right here, but the game could have continued, king f7, queen check, take the bishop, check again, precision check, Check, take the rook and mating on h7. That was nasty. Woo wee! That's one of the top five brilliant moves from Napomniachi. That's number five. Let's look at number four. Okay, guys, here we are with number four, and this one is Jan Napomniachi with the white pieces versus Alexi Sorana. Misha Nick um, on chess.com. Okay, so the last one was b5. Of course, uh, Alexi Sorana is definitely a very, very strong knight or player. So he plays b5, but unfortunately, question marks here. Well, of course, Jan smells the blood in the water, plays e5, hits the rook over here on a8. Well, Okay, this is a common knight or theme. Bishop to b7. Okay, we're gonna hit the queen, right? We develop with tempo. Queen goes over to g3 to hit the, the pawn on g7. We also can step out of the way. We can maybe, you know, take here and also do some knight takes b5. In some cases, there are things that maybe you can sacrifice. Here it is. D takes e5 happens. It's your move. White to move. What did Jan Napomniachi play in this position? Here's the move. Brilliant move of the day. Let me take C6. Hit him, split him. Woo wee. You need to be very familiar with this sacrifice, this knight sacrifice, this peace sacrifice that you see in many Sicilians. It's either on the D5 square or lots of times in a, in a Sozin variation of uh, the knight or um, Fisher's favorite. Actually, you'll see sometimes even a bishop on E6, but definitely bishop E6 or knight E6. In many Sicilians, you'll be able to see sacrifices on E6. Knight goes to E6, boom, crashing in. He takes right back right now. Of course, after um, F takes E6, we actually have to now know the follow-up move, which is what? Why to play? What do you do now? Jan plays queen g6 check, which is the move here. Absolutely, right? Because the king has to go to f8. It obviously can't go to the d file due to the rook on the, the d file. So you can't do that. So he has to go king f8. Cool. After king f8, good follow-up move. Check the whole board. Look at the whole board. The move you find is 
Bishop e6, correct, right? Great move, hitting queen f7, which is checkmate, okay? You have to defend the mate by bishop d8 or bishop something. So bishop moves, bishop moves to b4. Okay, second brilliant move. Right now, find it. Why to move, what is it? The move here is rook d7 and sending the heaven. It's over. Rook d7, what a move. That's a beautiful move with queen f7 being mate, obviously. Knight takes d7, queen f7 is mate. So, of course, queen takes d7 had to be played. We win the queen. Now, this isn't all the way over yet. Of course, the rooks are disconnected. That's the problem. So, this rook's kind of out of the game. So, of course, there was a lot of moves left here. So, we're going to just kind of fly through them. Knight to e4, bishop e7, knight to d6, bring another piece in the game. Takes check. King is looking crazy. You have to go e8. Rooks are still disconnected. So, we bring more pieces into the game after a check queen e6 forcing the king to d8 rook to d1 we pin bishop c8 everything's on a back rank what is going on right now queen takes e5 rook to f8 and he was able to clean up shop and grab some pawns here and this is just clinical clinical from Jan here as he was able to take down Alexi Serrano. A couple more moves here, rook d4, king c5, and b4 with a checkmate. Boom, but knight e6 and rook d7 started all of that combination. This is number four of his brilliant moves. Let's do number three. Here we are with number three. We have Jan Pomniacci versus Dan the Man, Naroditsky, Danya. Sorry, Danya. Okay, so what happened in this game, the last move was rook to e7 here. Daniel Nerdis, he plays rook to e7. And okay, so this is it's two brilliant moves in this combo, apparently. Every game we look at, he has like two or three brilliant moves in the game. Just brilliancies after brilliancies, right? Okay, it's right to move. It's on you. What did Yana Pamiachi play in this position after Rook to E7? The move here, of course, now, you know, you want to get this Knight to D5 to fork, but the Bishop's here. So a move like Bishop A6. Oh, that's real. Oh, that's a big boy move from a big fella. Now, the move that's supposed to be played here is just saying, you know what? Hey, that's cool. That's brilliant and all. But I'm going to just put this bishop on C6. And then, uh, of course, a repetition could be there after bishop to B5. But Daniel Nadiski says, look, I'm about to take that. What is the <laughs> Thank you, bro. I'm hitting the rook right, of course, as well. And I know your little knight D5. That's cool. But at the end of the day, when you take the rook over here, your F1 rook is hanging too. So he goes to queen H6. Sorry, knight D5 first. Of course forking and then queen h6 so queen h6 is a blunder but look at this right i mean it makes sense you take the queen you take the rook i take the rook right this was his whole intention but jan had something else in mind why to move what do you do the move here is f6 play f6 you gotta be kidding me look at this move bro f6 is gross what happens if he takes the queen your queen's hanging well of course f takes g7 is checked king to g8 and knight f6 is checkmate what a queen sacrifice that's gross let's get that off the screen we got kids watching this okay after f6 okay if you take with the pawn you obviously lose the queen here this is a sick move so and f takes g7 is also coming and the pawn can take on e7 of course, near Disky found G5. He's like, oh man, I didn't even see none of that. That was just absolutely sick, right? Takes on E7, takes on F1. Cool, we still have some type of advantage here, or at least we have a piece. But of course, uh, Weiss is gonna clean up and get that right back after Knight takes C7. We're threatening the queen now. Rook C8, we do queen, takes, takes. Queen goes to H4 and Queen D6, and this game's over here. It was a resignation after this. But Bishop A6 started it. Of course, and after captures, kind of set a little trap there. F6 to seal the deal. That was a nasty move. That was number three. Let's move to number two. Okay, guys, here we are with number two. And this one is Yana Pomniachi versus uh, Vladimir Fedeseya. Big fish on chess comp. So um, here it is. The last move was H5. Engine's like question mark. Now, of course, it's the engine, right? You know, in practical chances against a human, H5 is a very annoying move. Like, well, H6 is coming. But Fedeseya first says, you know what? Queen e6, move your knight first, bro. Okay, we're gonna attack the knight. We're gonna probably keep h6 under control. Maybe play h6 ourselves, right? At the especially after you move the knight, defending it because I'm taking your knight if you don't move it, right? So it's right to move. What does uh, Yana Pomniachi play in this position? Can you find the move? Here it is, guys. Well, of course, the saying goes, right? When your knight is hanging, when you have a piece hanging, sack it. Don't try that at home. But h6 is the move here. He just says, forget about that knight. Knight, knight, have a good knight. And if you take this knight, 
Well, night, night. Queen takes C4 for the score. That is GG right now. Of course, a beautiful move here. Obviously, that's why we played H6 to play H takes G7. H takes G7. Cool. Oh, I see that. That's Q. You're going to... Oh, King takes... You're going to hit me with Queen H6. Okay, you're going to... Uh, that's funny. Let me move my rook out the way. Well, why to move? Now, what do you do? The move is... Queen H6. You are so... You're wrong. Wrong. Queen takes E4. <laughs> ha, uh, ha. And I defend H7 and you're done. Oh, man. Oh, man. That one hurts. Okay, well, since if it's not Queen H6, it must be Rook H7. Real awkward stare. Real awkward stare. After Rook H7. Oh, wait. All right. All right. What happens if he takes it? Well, let's look at it. Rook H1 check. Boom. Right? If King to G8, we have Rook H8 check. Forcing King takes G7. With queen h6 being made. Ooh, that's gross. All right, how about this one? King g6, queen h6, or g5 mate. Don't matter. Right? There's mate. King g7? Is there any way out of this? Mate there too. Everything mate. Everything is made. So he said, oh, he really, he's not playing, says Fedeseev. This man is not playing. So he played knight to g6, hoping that he can cover the h8 square. And after this move, the game was over. Like to move, what do you do? The move here, the finale, queen h6, ends it all, resignation on the spot. There's no way you can stop rook h8. Okay, the engine way. Queen takes c2, sack all your pieces, right? But this is checkmate and game over. That was nasty. That was number two. Let's move to number one. Here we are with our final brilliancy from Jan Pomniachi, number one here, and he's playing with the black pieces against Jake Kleiman, international master. All right, last move was knight to e3 from Jake, and then knight to g4 here from Jan. Knight takes g4, queen g2 will be made. Nice deflection. So... Jake blocks it, knight to d5, boom, right? Queen can't move, or at least she can't cross this line anymore, especially with this knight here. Well, put that in mind and try to find the move that Jan played in this position, black to move. Here's the move. Well, it's blocked. Everything's all blocked. So how do we unblock it? A rook d8, maybe? Maybe a knight f4, that's crazy. What is that, knight e3? I mean, how, how do you get this knight off of the d5 square? You put something in front of it. Bishop d4. Woo, that's a big move. Hitting f2. Breaking the connection of the rook and the knight. Queen g2 is going to be mate now. The rook is now open up too, and that's going to play an important piece here because after rook takes d4, that's a sick move because now, you know, you can't take, obviously. So then what do you do, right? Rook takes d4 is a really strong move. It's black to move. What did Jan play in this position? The move here is not taking back the rook, because a lot of you may do that, because there's a check. You don't want to give him anything, but can we check him? If you said h2, you are correct. Very nice. Now, if king to g2, that's obvious. Rook takes f2 check, right? It's going to be a problem. And then after maybe king to h1, you go rook f1 there. He's going to be in some trouble. So, and then we're going to queen, right? So he goes king h1. And he's like, yo, if knight takes f2, king takes h2, right? So you take the pawn, I take the pawn. Okay, well, final move here, black to move. What do you do? The move that he played here. Knight takes G3! It's on the board! Get him off the board! Knight takes G3, boy! That's sick. Let's look at that again. H2, King H1, Knight G3. Beautiful. You want Rook F1 check, obviously. And we want a Queen. So after he takes, you go Rook F1 check. King G2 and H1 Queen and checkmate. One more time, that combo was very sick. This is a very nice one. That's why we saved it the best for last, right? So, knight D5, bishop D4, breaking the connection. Rook takes, H2 check. I mean, look at all the pieces. Like, this was a sick combo. All these, all these pieces for the combination. Knight takes G3, the rook, and then the pawn. Like, he used everything that was brilliant right hopefully you enjoyed this video guys and if you enjoyed this one then make sure you check the videos right after this and we'll see you on the next one